If you ever wanted to have hot reload support that's not only limited to SwiftUI, I have something for you. My name is Mike and let's get started. There's an app called Injection 3 and it's not about the dependency injection. It's about updating the implementation of classes, structs, enums inside the iOS simulator without having to rebuild or restart the whole application. And this is huge, especially when you are dealing with the UI. You can find it on the GitHub. It is a standalone application. You can install it from, from the App Store or you can also like build it yourself or you can also get it from the releases. Just download it and install as a typical standalone application. And then if you will run it, it will be here on the top bar and choose open project. Here there's my sample app, select the project directory and let's check the application. Here you can see the sample project. It's like a very, very basic app. We have like the first, first view controller, the button, and it's just like pushing it. In order to make the injection work, we need to follow the setup guide. Let's go to the website and here inside the getting started, in order to make it work, we need to add those additional flags to the other linker flags. Let's do this. And then for the application that finish launching, we need to load this bundle. As you can see, there's like uh, a path to the application. So make sure that your application is actually inside the applications directory. Let's copy this, go to the app delegate, application did finish launching, and let's just pass this. And actually you can get rid of the macOS or tvOS because we are not going to use it. And yeah, that's basically it. After you will save it, let's restart the application and run it. And you can see that it is being connected also. You can see here the injection 3 is being connected. Now let's check what's inside this additional view controller. It's called details view controller. It has this function setup where we are setting up additional views. Let's change it and let's make it red. After you will save it, you can see that it's being compiled and then injected. And as you can see, nothing happened. We need to go back and push this view controller once again. And as you can see, it's being read. We did not restart the app. Let's go back, save it, go back, and it's being white. So right now, this is spinning up our workflow quite significantly, but we can uh, even improve this a little further. We can go a little further with this. Let's go back to the GitHub page and let's search for this one, the notification. So after each injection, uh, the application can post this injection bundle notification and we can use this for automatic refresh. Let's copy this. We can change this and call it, for example, setup as we have here, our function, we need to add Objective-C annotation. And right now, each time we will save a file, the injection app will send this notification, injection bundle notification, and it will call our setup method. So let's run the application. And let's change something. Let's, let's change it to red. And right now I'm pressing the com command S and saving this automatically. And as you can see, it is just updating it right away. Let's add a title, command S, and it's being here right away. As you can see, the changes are right away and it's super useful, especially when you are working with a UI. It's not all perfect, there are some limitations. Let's get back to the GitHub. You can't change or alter the layout of class or struct. And if you will do this, it will likely crash and your app will become unstable. So yeah, don't do this. There is also a Swift UI injection. I did not try it yet, but if you, for example, have like a very huge Swift UI project or it's not working for you, like the live preview is like really sluggish and unusable, 
you can use this and it will definitely improve. As you can see, the feedback loop here is extremely fast. Not having to rebuild the whole application is a huge time saver. And the setup is really simple and you only need to do this once. So I hope that you will give it a try. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.